Baby cock the Glock and then I let it spray. Rays versus Dodgers game three was an absolute train wreck of a game for the Tampa Bay Rays as Charlie Morton would take the mound and just get lit up by the Dodger offense. And this is just a game where you know the entire time, yeah, Rays don't have a effing chance on this one, but you still watch it anyway because you support your team. You're a small market team who rarely makes a World Series. In fact, second time ever. So, you know, you still want to watch it, but watch it in pain. Yeah, I mean, all I can say about this game, right, is a couple things. First things first, um, Bueller for the Dodgers is really good. In fact, he actually no-hit the Tampa Bay Rays through four innings. So, I mean, look, I know this Rays offense is terrible, and it has been all year. They've shown flashes when they want to be good. Um, but when you go up against Walker Bueller, good luck. Yeah, that was just not fun, man. Um, top of the first inning, Justin Turner hits a, a homer off of Morton, 1-0 LA. Top of the third, Max Muncy singles, driving in two more. Seager and Turner score, so 3-0 LA. Uh, top of the fourth, Austin Barnes sacrifice bunt drives in Bellinger, and it's 4-0 LA. Mookie bets then single, which, by the way, thank you, umpire, because uh, you missed a blatant strike three on Mookie bets. You'd call it a ball, and on the next pitch, you'd get a RBI single. So thank you very much for that, ump. Not like we would have won anyway, because we only scored two runs, but still, it pisses you off as a baseball fan to see it. Yeah, so 5-0 um, Dodgers, and it wouldn't be until the fifth inning when uh, Tampa actually got on the board. It was Willie Adames with a RBI double driving in Manuel Margot, 5-1 LA. Austin Barnes, the next inning, would homer for the Dodgers, 6-1 LA. And then bottom of the ninth inning, I said it in my last recap. I would be shocked if Randy Arozarena didn't have a home run in the World Series. I predicted that there would be at least one Randy Arozarena homer in the series. And here you go. Bottom of the ninth inning, Randy Arozarena blasts one. And that, like, absolute bash. It didn't matter. It was only a solo. Too little, too late. Bottom of the ninth inning, man. And it's 6-2 uh, LA. And that's the final for this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just it wasn't fun because Bueller, like, absolutely silenced the Rays offense and Morton was getting just blasted. He played four innings, allowed seven hits, seven hits and five runs, six strikeouts, but still, man, five runs, seven hits. And the thing with Morton is like, he wasn't pitching terribly either. The Dodgers offense, they were just finding the ball. They were just finding it, man. So it just sucks to watch that happen, but um, at least we got to save the majority of our stable for the upcoming games, putting in people like Sheriff Curtis and McClanahan um, in this one, just to give them that experience. So the Dodgers take a 2-1 series lead, and had I recorded this the night of, I would have told you this. I was planning on telling you this. Game four is an absolute must win for Tampa. If they don't win it, series over. Spoiler alert, they did win it. And, uh, I, I'm going to be recording that recap next, but, um, you know, I, I'd like to be as on schedule as possible with these recaps, man. So with that being said, uh, Rays lose this one. The Dodgers take a 2-1 series lead and it was a very frustrating game to say the least. So I will see you for game four. Uh, yep. Peace out.